Hey there, everybody. Steve at Chief Skills. Hope you're doing well today. Saw this post recently on Chief Talk, and uh, this lady, Marianne, is wondering, is there an easy way to create a new plan view in Chief just to show her foundation? And of course, there is. It doesn't come in Chief's out-of-the-box residential plan template, but I can show you how to do it, so let's get started. To get started, the first thing you'd you need to do is open up the and use the residential plan template, which is in the Chief X12 template directory, easy to find. It may be your default. You could check preferences to see if that is your default. If not, that's what I'm using, the residential plan template right out of the Chief box, no changes. Okay, so using the residential plan template, I've created just this little structure here and it's got a roof on it as you can see and I haven't really changed anything from the defaults and I've created a foundation plan. If you look over here on the side this is a list of the plan views that come with the residential template and there is no dedicated foundation plan view. So how do you create one of those? It's very easy. What I would do is I just right click this working plan view say duplicate change the name to foundation plan view click OK then go to that view and say edit view and if you look here on the general tab right here it's first floor and that would be the first thing I would change I just say you want it on the foundation floor and there's some other things here you don't really need to change anything right now but on selected defaults, um, you might want to create a unique layer set. So how do you do that? Well, right here, I, all these annotations are fine. Just leave them as they are and go right here to define and hit copy set and call this foundation view layers. Okay, something like that, however you want to name it. And I would just leave it for now. And you can change the CAD layer too to like CAD comma foundation if you choose, but I think you could just leave it as default for this view. The reference display you could change also, but it's good enough and that's all you really need to do. Click OK. And then you will see right here you're on your plan that you want. And so I would right click and just say save view and then you could you can close this view. And if you come up here to your bar and you go to foundation plan view, it just switches right to your foundation. And that's as easy as it gets. Now, you have your own unique layer set for this view, so you can turn things on and off as you see fit. So that is a quick lesson on how to create a quick plan view unique to a certain floor or a certain type of thing. And uh, I'm not getting into a lot of detail on what you could do here is if you had a basement, you could you could create all sorts of different plan views. But with this unique layer set, you can turn things on and off as you see fit. So hope that helps. So if you have any questions, send your emails to steve at mychiefskills.com. And don't forget, check out my website, mychiefskills.com. It's a place you can pick up my screen porch library. And if you're interested, some one-on-one -on -one training. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.